Okay, so let us read this question. A mass is suspended from the ceiling of a train carriage by a string. The string makes an angle theta with the vertical when the train is accelerating along a straight horizontal track, but the direction of the acceleration is not given, like in which direction the train is moving. Whether it is going in the right or left, we don't know. But because the object is moving backside, so it obviously means that your train is getting accelerated in the forward direction. Now, these things we generally observe while we travel. That if, um, let us say, we are sitting in a bus and the bus starts moving, we are we pushed back. So, if this body is being pushed back, it means there is an acceleration of the train in the forward direction. Okay, fine. So, this is the concept. Uh, from the topic uh, pseudo force. So first of all, let me tell you what is pseudo force. I don't know whether you have completed this topic in your sc school or not. So that is why let us have a little bit of introduction of that. Pseudo force means a force which actually does not, uh, which actually does not exist, which is not present there, but the effect of force is there. Like for example, we are standing in the bus and bus is moving at a high speed and immediately the bus driver applies a brake. So I would be pushed in front and I will, I will be thrown in front of, uh, in front of the position where I was, I was standing. Well, it will, it is very similar to say that somebody has pushed me. Somebody has pushed me like this, but nobody has actually pushed me. I was just standing there, but the bus got stopped. The bus was having a retardation and I got a pull. I got a pull um, in the forward direction. So effect of the force is there, but the actual force is not there. So this is the thing that is known as pseudo force. Now, the characteristic of pseudo force is if your vehicle or your car or your train is traveling at an acceleration of A, there will be a force named the pseudo force acting on the body in the opposite direction and the formula will be f is equal to m into a where m is the mass of the body and a is the acceleration of the train these two things are different see m is the mass of body a is the acceleration of the train so this is the pseudo force m a that is acting in backward direction along with that it is being acted upon by weight which is mg and there is a third force which is shown like this and the third force is the tension in the string the tension is basically the amount with which we have pulled the string like this so that is the tension so there are three of these forces and all of these forces are now balanced that is why the body is no, not moving anymore the body is maintaining the position at the same point so we can say that all the forces are in equilibrium so how do we do this I am going to tell you the easiest of the method. What we do is we create a triangle here. Like this. Like this. So if this is a triangle, the horizontal force is MA. So we will take this as MA. Vertical will be taken as MG and the hypotenuse will be taken as T. And this angle is given as theta. So now what we want is we want to find A. So we can apply our trigonometric ratio that is tan theta is equal to MA by MG. A is equal to G tan theta. A is equal to G tan theta. So this is the answer. A is equal to g tan theta okay so this is how you solve it and uh, with this all the best bye